In this video, we're going to talk all things subscriptions and break down the subscriptions model so you can walk away with a fundamental understanding of how to create your own subscriptions. Subscriptions are a way for you to accept recurring payments from your customers on a regular basis. The way that you handle subscriptions could vary depending on your business model. So in this video, we're going to walk through two different examples and show you how you would set up subscriptions for each use case. First, we'll look at an example software as a service or SaaS product. And then we'll take a look at a business that processes orders to see each of the nuances of each use case. So let's dive in. Let's say that you're building out an online music streaming service and you want to charge your customers on a monthly basis. The first step is to create a subscription plan and a subscription plan variation. These are both catalog objects and you'll create them with the catalog API. While these are closely tied together, they each serve their own purpose. The subscription plan is an object that describes what is being sold. So in our case, we might call this something like music membership. Now, subscription plan variation describes the way the item is being sold. And we do that with what we call phases. Phases represent the different periods within the subscription. For example, you might have something like a free trial phase that lasts for a week. Then you could have a main phase where the customer is billed on a monthly basis for the length of their subscription. Now, for each phase, there are four important fields. The ordinal field indicates where the phase is positioned in the order of all the phases. The cadence field indicates how often the customer is billed. So this might be a monthly or weekly basis. The periods field indicates the number of billing cycles you'd like to have in the phase. You can opt to leave this field empty if you'd like the phase to run indefinitely. Finally, the pricing field indicates the cost associated with the phase. This can be either static or relative. For our music streaming service, since the cost would be the same each month, we would opt for static. So all in all, if our music service wanted to offer a free trial phase for a week, and then a main phase with monthly billing, we would create two phases that would look like this. Once you've created your subscription plan and plan variation with all of its phases, you're all done with the setup. Now you can start subscribing users when they come along and sign up for your service. So you can subscribe a user to a plan using the subscriptions API create subscription endpoint. What you're doing is creating a connection between the subscription plan variation and the customer. So when we make this call, we'll be passing the IDs for both of those objects. You do also have to include a location ID, though that's a little less important. Once a subscription is created, that customer will start to be charged according to the phases that we set up in the subscription plan variation. By default, that charge will come in the form of an invoice emailed to the customer. However, you can also opt to directly charge a customer's credit card if they have a card stored on file. If you want to learn how to store a card on file, we'll have videos for that linked below. Great. At this point, you've created a subscription and now your customers will be paying you on a regular basis. Now, this is how you would set up a subscription for a SaaS product. But let's go back through this process and see how it changes if you need to process an order with your subscription. Let's say that you're building a meal plan delivery service where you deliver a set of meals to your customers on a weekly basis. First step, again, is to create a subscription plan and include all of the meals that a customer could order. Along with that, we'll create a subscription plan variation with one phase that indicates the customer will be billed monthly. This is where we get to the first main difference from our SaaS product. In this phase, we want to indicate that the pricing is relative instead of static because the price is going to be determined by the meals that the user chooses, and we don't know what those are yet. So to include the meals our customer selects, we have to first create an order template using the orders API. So for example, this order template might include the fried chicken sandwich and the steak tacos. Now, when a customer is ready to sign up for our meal plan service, we can subscribe the user just like before by including the customer ID, location ID, and subscription plan variation ID. We also need to include the order template ID in the phases of the subscription. Now, when the subscription is created, an order for those meals will also be created and you can handle that order accordingly. There can be a lot that goes into a subscription model, but once you understand how everything works together, you can see just how powerful subscriptions can be. In this video, we talked about everything at a very high level to give you an overall understanding. If you're looking for a deeper dive on subscriptions, check out our video where we walk through all of the specific API calls that you need to create your own subscriptions. I'll see you over there.